Bullying? I don't know what you're talking about. Man, if I was bullying, I would have just slightly slid in an ada If you'd like to introduce yourselves, we have some guests today. I am Rin Taicho. I'm... yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christian Bannis. Uh, I'm an English voice actor for games like Genshin Impact and Cookie Run Kingdom and Pokemon and a bunch of other things. But yes, hello. Thanks for reading that with me. I want to get y'all some actual lines to read though. So let me <laughs> okay. see. They were saying the SR story has... <laughs> the shirtless <Hello>? one? Look <laughs> at that. Look at that dog. I can't even... I yeah, can't look even, at the dog. <laughs> I, can't, I ain't wanna hide right now. Yeah, that's true. Hey, the dog's I looking at you because like, it's exposing yeah. you too. I would like to be the dog, please. The normally chaotic studio falls silent. Everyone stops whatever work they're doing. A model is causing a scene at a critical segment of the shoot. You secretly raise your head, only to see Marius frowning next to you. Watch your expression. Everyone's a bit tense. Marius places a hand to his forehead, shooting you a sudden smile. You got me. Have you been sneaking glances at me the entire time? <laughs> yeah. I can't do this. <laughs> I need a moment. I need a moment. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a public shaving. Like I, just, I feel like I've been I've been hung up on a whipping pole. Like, is there some kind of misunderstanding? This fashion show is probably the best opportunity he's gonna get. I'm not sure, but purposely being late is a common way the entertainment industry uses to play their cards. That little breathy bit at the end. <laughs> After hearing what you said, Marius smiles but does not say anything. It's okay. Just do as I say. I'll explain to you later. I have to maintain my composure and it takes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and this am... is an archetype I'm weak with. Imagine with what I'm strong with. <laughs> if I made you read a Luke card, shit. Luke is, like, the way I see Luke as a character, I'm like, I would be strong as Luke. <laughs> Thank God we're not reading a Luke card then. Okay. Also, thank God Luke is my number. Luke, Luke is my number three. <laughs> he has no power. He has a little bit of power over me. Also, is this this was your number one? All right, time to make him hotter. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> what does that mean? However, the smile on his face disappears. The further down the list he went, the more frustrated he looked. I'm so grateful for Dean like resetting me in between. <laughs> it's so <laughs> relaxing listening to your voice. You think he's good? He's bad. I don't know. <laughs> what should we pick? Wait, can you guys pick for me? I'm too distracted. I don't know what's happening. Mm. Ricardo, yo, he sucks. Yeah. What, what did she say about Ricardo? <laughs> he won first place in a medal at something, but he's not Marius, so he bad. <laughs> <laughs> What, wait, Jealous Marius? <gasps> jealous! He's pretty good, and he's been getting lots of attention from the girls on the internet recently. I get lots of attention too. Is that not good enough? <laughs> jealous Marius is a face! Seeing the smug look on his face, you can't help but want to tease him further. Why don't you try then? You put it out casually, not expecting everyone to actually lapse into a deathly silence. It's a face! Actually, this pharaoh themed collection fits Mr. Von Hagen really well. It'll be great if we can shoot him in it. Ying, would you like to see me model? If you do, then I don't mind giving you my first photoshoot debut. <laughs> okay. We're good. You have like a bonk command that we can type in the chat for you? <laughs> That's okay, I'm bonking myself. Right. <laughs> there it is again, that insatiable tone of his. Oh, he's a cheeky little bastard. <laughs> gotcha. All right, Dean, I mean, would you like to continue narrating? Oh, sorry. Or we could jazz it up and I can narrate and you can read Rosa. Oh, no, no, please. I can't do that. <laughs> but it would be fun. I mean, I could, but I don't know what kind of character to give her. I mean, Rin, you could play the hot guy if you want to. Oh, Yin could boy. be the narrator. We can, we can rotate. We can rotate yeah. for every part. I don't know why I'd be a hot guy. Let me, I'll, I'll try it, but we'll see what Yeah, happens. try being the hot guy. All right, okay. and then I'll be narrator, and then... Yeah, I'll be Rosa. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Before you could turn him down, all the staff in the studio begin staring at you, hopefully, eyes brimming with expectation. Being surrounded by such powerful yearnings, you had no choice but to change your mind. Yeah, I do. I really, really want to see you modeling, okay? All right, wait right here. I'll go get changed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why are you apologizing? Stop apologizing! 
You peaked. We didn't know what you said. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> well, hey, the next line is totally ying because he did, or they did burst into laughter, so it's perfect. <laughs> Everyone's calling me 40 year old Marius. <laughs> 40 year old Marius. What do you secretly smile about over there? Oh my god, you're like Batman. Yeah. Oh, like Batman. Borisse. I'm so, so sorry, Mr. Von Hagen. I'll make sure the makeup artist gets a piece of my mind. We really did prepare for this photo shoot, and we weren't deliberately late, I promise. Please, give us another chance. Chad is appreciating <laughs> your range, Christian. I, I appreciate oh, it. It's great. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> sure, I'll give you another chance. The agent is overjoyed after hearing that Marius was willing to give them another chance, happily agreeing to him. However... Due to not wanting to delay the shoot, we've already found a new model. Take your model to the dressing room to get changed. We'll have our new model compete with yours. The winner will be the lead model of the fashion week. Marius waggles his eyebrows at you. What the heck is waggle an eyebrow? <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 what is it? You have a really surprised look on your face. Are you worried I won't win? A heart full of gratitude, shattered by his frivolous tone. You can't help but to roll your eyes at him. Balance, I don't need your call out. <laughs> <laughs> Safe. <laughs> I escaped. <laughs> Not long after Marius goes into the makeup room, his assistant pushes a huge cloth-covered cage into the studio. Just as you are guessing what is in the cage, you hear the model's agent's voice from across the studio. Mr. Von Hagen! Mm. Uh, where's Sorry. Mr. Von Hagen? The model is behind him. His handsome figure and deep-set brows can now be seen after having taken off the ridiculous makeup, perfectly fitting in with the theme. But, as good-looking as he is, quack quack, you feel like something is missing. The expression on your face probably helped inflate his confidence. He looks around, crowing triumphantly. Where's the other model you guys hired? <laughs> this changing speed won't do, and the catwalk. Something wrong with my changing speed? I was simply trying to get into the right mindset for a photo shoot. Marius appears from the shadows and walks straight onto the set in the studio. His assistant opens the cage. Is Marius in the cage? And a pharaoh hound slowly steps out. It made its way towards Marius, sitting by his feet without any hesitation. Thank god Marius was not the one in the cage! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey. There he is! <laughs> hey, let me- I'm sure you have party trick. I can make the text go away. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the dog, though. <laughs> That's a great party trick. <laughs> For my next party trick, Ying will become the dog. For this, I'm just kidding. Like how Rose is just kind of like dumbfounded right now. <laughs> she is the player, after all. Yep. Perhaps he'd rush the change, for he walked out of the room with his shirt wide open. Yeah, he did. Despite how his clothes should have been as complicated as his counterpart. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows, he knows it. <laughs> but even so, no one could ignore the haughty pride and confidence that radiated off his being English. Blech. It was then that you suddenly realized just what the other model was missing. A six pack? Being hot. Oh, oh me and Ying. <laughs> just like, oh. I don't know if I can read that. Wait, what is... Go on. It is voiced. Yeah, it is Ooh. voiced. Yeah. Of course they make that part voiced, where he's just like, come here. <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> he calls for you gently and holds up his hand. The projected flames dance behind Marius and flicker alongside the gold dust on the murals and decorations. I love how he says that, holy crap. It was so poetic, like he's like holding you on the face and he's just like, the sun rises every day. Just for you. What? Like, it's so good! But why is he talking like that? <laughs> because they know what they're doing, dude! But why? <laughs> it makes no sense! You're on a photo shoot set! Leave me alone, who are you? Reen, you can take this one. Oh, okay. Oaths engraved in stone monuments, lasting for thousands of years, yet the romance within remains unchanged. Oh. I see why <laughs> you handed it off. What do I it's a good call. Oh, whoa, that is breaking Ying. <laughs> Why is he saying this? It makes no. You are. This is a photo shoot. Excuse me, sir. This is a Denny's. Chris, can you read that line? In oh, yeah, voice? of course. My love for you is the one and only. What the fuck kind of sadist are you, Dean? <laughs> <laughs> I love it.
love it. It's great. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh, what? You want it to be more intimate? I could do that. <laughs> Whereas, like, I will literally, like, hover as close as I can to the microphone and be like, my love for you is the one and only. My hands. Yeah, you want that? Stop this! Ying and 342 other people here right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How do I do that? Just go full ada ada. No, I, I don't even know how to do an ada. <laughs> I can only do this cursed uwu voice. You don't know how to do ada ada. Uh oh. Ada ada. Christian is bullying all of us at this point. <laughs> <laughs> bullying? I don't know what you're talking about, man. If I was bullying, I would have just slightly slid in an ada ada. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Whether it be the past, present, or future, only one person can stand with him as an equal, forever uh, forever cherished in his heart. Who wrote this cringe? Hoyo did it. Mi Hoyo! <laughs> Marius stands up as you put your hand into his palm. He takes your hand and walks you out of the shooting area. Sir, the shoot hasn't happened yet! <laughs> <laughs> Take your damn photos! Do your fucking job, man! What? What's wrong? His sudden action makes you realize how flirtatiously the two of you were holding hands. Who wrote this cringe? Fire them immediately. Fire them again, but it'll be too obvious if you take back your hand right now. My eye. You snap out of your reverie when you hear the tinge of a pain in his voice. Don't move. Let me take a look. Okay, um, will this help? Go! Oh. <laughs> he bends down slightly, putting the two of you in very close proximity once more, catching you off guard. Please button your shirt, sir. <laughs> Sorry, I'm too hot. I blinded myself in one eye. An upward brow and a high nose. He would be more charming if he weren't frowning and keeping his left eye tightly shut. S stop. Stop moving. Are you able to open your left eye? Mm. Mm, that was exactly how I was gonna read that. Can we hear it? Can we hear it? Can we hear it? Like, like uh, I don't think so. It still hurts. I like his melody so much better than mine, but same intent. <laughs> Good for Marius. I like that guy. Seeing the sweat on his forehead and the heat coming out of the studio lights. Your sweat probably carried the makeup into your eye. I'll get someone to take care of it for you. No, no, don't leave. That's not necessary. You can... you can just blow into my eyes and it'll be fine. You said this wasn't your strong suit? I actually think... <laughs> <laughs> this is still not my strong suit. <laughs> now we're gonna have to make you read some Luke lines. I'm very curious now. How uh, much more wanna, powerful can you get? I wanna Luke. I wanna hear the Luke How too. is it... <laughs> Marius puts on an innocent expression and nods his head. He then tilts his body and moves even closer to you. His breath gently brushes your cheeks. It's a little ticklish. Ah, oh, not to be a hater, but this segment would be so much better if they didn't do the weird, like, Egyptian shit earlier. Okay. <laughs> you carefully blow into his left eye. It suddenly peers open, letting you clearly see the slight wetness of his alluring purple eyes. You're a little too close. This is so what? Isn't it much more convenient this way? <laughs> Sorry, I need to hear. <laughs> so what? Isn't it much more convenient this way? <laughs> the, the teasing, the teasing in it. He knows. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> this is how. And it's just how anime is, man. I hear the Japanese ref, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna go beat the Japanese one, and then I do it. <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, 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 shut the fuck up. Uh, yeah, um, it feels much better now. One more time should do it. You, you're both too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Nerf this man! <laughs> oh, buff him. Um, More. You're fine as long as you can open your eye. They're still waiting for you. 
You point towards the model as, and his agent who were standing on the other end. The agent kept his mouth tightly sealed from the very moment Marius made his appearance. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Even I'm like, okay, that was a little cheeky. <clears throat> Um, I don't think we need to continue with the competition. Even the hunting hound has been subdued by your aura. Did he misunderstand because he didn't see Marius' assistant bringing the hound here? Well, it's better that way, and also helps save a lot of trouble. So is the conclusion that the thing the model was- the other model was missing is a dog? Dominance. <laughs> no, I think it was the dog! <laughs> <laughs> Are you forfeiting? Uh, yes, yes, why, yes, why? of course. We are already more than grateful for having been given a second chance. T posed to a certain dominance, indeed. <laughs> T posed. <laughs> T posed to a certain dominance. Do you think uh, we can sign an ordinary contract? <laughs> you probably will need more people for the catwalk, right? Even backup works. Oh, that's desperation right there. I would love to be that dog right now, Kazuha. But in general, I always want to be a dog. <laughs> Should have been a dog tuber. Should have been a wolf tuber. Looks like he's still not giving up and is trying to see what other chances he can get from this. <sighs> no, that's not necessary. I don't plan on starting a modeling career. Giovanni will still be Pax's lead model. Giovanni? Is that the model's name? And what exactly does Marius mean by that? Y you're serious, right? Oh my gosh, thank you so much! Amateurs will always make mistakes, and I don't mind that. However, I am only asking Giovanni to stay. <sighs> you see, I am extremely uncomfortable with your attitude as his agent in this partnership. I will give you two choices. Terminate your agreement with Giovanni, or Pax will terminate all cooperation with your company. Of course, you can also choose neither. Then I'll have my assistant contact your boss directly and let him be the one to decide. Screwing up the opportunity to work with Pax is a grave loss for any company. Hence, the company will replace him even if he chooses not to. Marius' assistant hands you the prepared termination of management agreement. You hand it to Giovanni. If there are no objections, please sign on the last page. Um, okay, can we wait until the end of the photo shoot? Giovanni's new, so he won't be able to make it without me, of course. That skeevy voice. Yeah, don't fire me. <laughs> I'm still aware of how my partnership with them is like. I'll sign it. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> you had like a more like brightened tone. <laughs> Giovanni signs a contract and passes it to the agent. The agent unwillingly signs before dejectedly leaving. That agent is going to have a hard time <laughs> with his <laughs> career in the future. He brought this on himself. All right, then it is settled. He turns and looks at the model standing in the corner, waving to him. Thank you. Not a problem. You better give this shoot your all after all this trouble just to help you swap agents. Swap agents? Is that why he- Marius, shouldn't you terminate the contract with the model and not the agency for a situation like this? It's okay. Just do as I say. I'll explain to you later. Oh, people are gonna have a field day with that one. Huh? Which one? The just do as I, I say clip. Oh. At least I didn't say it's super flirty. <laughs> <laughs> Standing outside of Pax, you can't help but take another look at the floor you were previously on before leaving. Arius, did you choose Giovanni as the model this time because you knew him? You finally let out the question that had been on your mind the entire time. Not entirely. He really does have the potential and I really admire him for it, else I wouldn't go through all this to make it happen. Besides, Giovanni's not his actual name. Marius lowers his voice and said a name. George Vance, the youngest and most beloved son of the Vance family. The Vance family began with the shipbuilding and is now a marine industry tycoon. They were just a rich boy friends! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, when I'm bored, I like to do some modeling for everybody, you know. <laughs> these, these, these rich kids, insufferable. Huh? So he's an, also an heir to a financial group? Yeah, though its size doesn't compare to Pax, they're still considered a powerful family. I met him at a party before going abroad. We were just ordinary business partners, socializing. I found out that he had distanced himself from his family and came to Stellis all by himself, only when I saw his name on the list of models recently. Meaning he gave up everything just to become a model? Yeah, I admire people like that. People that can give up everything to fulfill their dream. I have responsibilities that I need to shoulder, so I cannot and will never 
leave it behind without a care like he did. That's a good read. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Marius probably notices the change in your mood, for he smiles softly when your eyes make contact. But it's comforting to know that I was able to help him in the pursuit of his dream. Having a dream is a good thing. I hope you can hold on to your dream and soar to new heights. That wasn't just a blessing for Giovanni. It was also a heartfelt yearning of his. Buddy. Giovanni can let go of everything and chase his dream as an ordinary person. That takes a lot of courage. Marius, on the other hand, discarded all that he liked so he could shoulder a burden that was not his. Oh, some context. Marius is an artist. He's a painter. Besides, he spent a lot of effort preparing for the fashion week. You must really like this project. It's probably something that only the current you can manage to pull off. Marius is stunned. You're right. However, I can do much, much more than just this. With you by my side, I'm free to do what I want to do. Thank you. God, that was a good thank you. Sorry, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down, his expression gentle, but serious. This time's fashion week will definitely be more successful than ever. On the day of the fashion week's opening ceremony, ceremony, English. Though you have an invitation from Marius to join the opening ceremony, you decide not to go after seeing the number of celebrities participating. I heard BTS was there. <laughs> Giovanni is gaining a lot of popularity. That's really great. Smooth black butter. <laughs> after the shoot ended, Giovanni received a tremendous amount of attention the second his photos were released. Oh, we're getting hydrated by me, Merc. Thank oh, you. Right. Oh, what's up, my Merc? Another one of my community members. <laughs> They're all here. They're partying it up. <laughs> yeah. Hope y'all are having fun. Remember when Christian didn't stream a signing, guys? It was great. His popularity remains as high as ever till the opening day. He's still the third most searched entry online. Just as your emotions start to well up from watching the live stream, your cell phone starts to ring. I thought that was like my actual phone. <laughs> I thought that was my phone too. Like, oh. You're home, aren't you? <sighs> It is noisy at the other end of the line, but Marius' voice is still as clear as the day. I'm not used to setting things- set- setting- oh, uh, I'm not used <laughs> to settings like that, so I didn't go today. Where are the photos the photographers took of you last time? I thought we were using them for publicity. I still don't plan on debuting as a model. Really? That's a shame. Those photos had quite a lot of sentimental value. Your casual expression of emotions was reciprocated by lighthearted laughter on the other end of the call. I love his laughter. I send them to you. Wait for me at home. Uh. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Is the anime like? Eh? Uh. <laughs> I've got to do that once for an anime greatest dream accomplishment ever. <laughs> oh my lord! You won't come here, so I guess I'll just have to come to you. I'll be there soon. Bye. He hangs up the phone, leaving you dumbfounded. He he's coming over. <laughs> oh, shit! I gotta clean everything up. Fuck. <laughs> with his photos. By the time you regain your senses, you realize that you have already placed a mobile order for photo frames at a nearby shop. You're so valid, Rosa! <laughs> <laughs> I love it It's so like she much. blacked out and ordered a photo frame. <laughs> The way they wrote it. That was good. Hey, Marius okay. texted us. What do you think he said? You seem quite interested in feral hounds. Want me to get you one? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Isn't it fine so long as you like it? <laughs> this kind of reminds this guy's me of such a, a cheeky butt. He is. What, what was it? Mystic Messenger a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. this part is yeah. very Mystic Messenger. God, he, like the way he the way you hear this, like he's just totally smirking on the other end, like such a jerk. He's, he's like always smirking. Yeah, where he's like, "Why not? Isn't it fine so long as you like it?" Feral hands are smart, outgoing, and loyal to their owners. It's an excellent breed. Not like you. <laughs> yeah, many people keep them from the, uh, for their royal heritage. Walking a dog like this will definitely turn heads. Want to take me up on my offer? Wank, wank. Wank, wank. Let's not. I heard they don't do well in cities. And I'm really busy with work. If I really wanted a pet, I'd probably choose something more normal. Hmm, that makes sense. So, what kind of pet would you want? A small dog. A small dog. I want a small dog so I can walk it every day after work. <laughs> I'm getting a little excited hearing you say that. I want to take walks with you too. I know a great pet store. Let me know when you're ready for a pet. I'll come with you. 
You're I guarantee we'll find the one you like. You're so valid, Marius. I also would want to be Rosa's dog. <laughs> oh! We were joking earlier that like, this isn't a dating sim. Like this isn't a self insert, you choose your best boy dating sim. This is a game where we choose the best man for Rosa. <laughs> Yep. Like yeah. for yep. her, for the best girl, only the best is... man. Someone from your sister company told me that you guys are going to Egypt for team building? Yeah, I think so. The trips abroad are a benefit shared among all sister companies under the group. Actually cry. <laughs> the more I hear about it, the more I want to cry. That has nothing to do with me. I love my job. I love my job. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Don't be a workaholic. Work hard, play hard. Now I want to go myself after hearing you mention that. <laughs> I'll worship like a dog at the shrine of your lies. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. Thank you, Tommy, for that. Mr. Von Hagen, snap out of it and take a look at your schedule. Ugh, you're terrible for shattering my fantasies about a vacation like that. They're going to Egypt, though, so I've always wanted to go there, though. Oh, you've never been to Egypt? I figured you would have gone to all the tourist hotspots already. You know how busy I get. There's a lot of places I haven't been. <sighs> that does it. I'm gonna go look at the best tourist routes to take in Egypt. And now I wanna go too! <laughs> it's all your fault for making me not want to work. <laughs> My plan worked. When you finish what you're working on, take a few days off and I'll take you on a road trip. How about it? The CEO will accompany you on vacation. The amenities will be much better than what they get on the team building trip. Just you wait. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Thank you also to Christian and Rin for joining us. For mm -hmm. like, God, it was like two and a half hours. I appreciate it. Thank you both. Oh, was it? Oh, Time flew by. Yeah, I really did. It was fun. So make sure to check out Christian and Rin. Thank you all so much for joining us. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye, Bye chat. Everyone.